we want to go into a little bit more of a fun segment now. So this is our oh, power yes. play segment, which is AK just rapid yeah. fire. Uh, just, okay. a cool, just a way cooler name. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about branding, as you know. Okay, so these are a whole bunch of random things, but kind of more on the fatherhood side and, and family side and things like that. So first one, what has been your most unexpected experience of fatherhood so far? Um, most unexpected experience of fatherhood, honestly, for me, oh, I got to, I got to help catch him. That was the craziest thing. That, that, oh, wow. So Dang. The, the thing that was so unexpected for me was that like, they literally just let everybody do this. Like everybody gets to have the best thing in the world. It's mm -hmm. crazy. And, and I think that that overwhelming feel of feeling of just like love and joy and euphoria was just like just indescribable to anybody who's never had a child you won't understand until you have one and it just made so much sense in that moment of wow this is the best thing ever and so many people get to experience this and it feels like a it feels like a fraternity now when i get to talk about other people and i get to see their kids and they and i and I, I it just makes so much sense to me i love it i love it that's amazing did he like you say you caught him like this might be a dumb question oh, yeah, so I got to, I got to help. yeah so like what well, <laughs> they, so they actually they call, just they call, shoot yeah, out yeah, across yeah. the room and you go yeah. heads and someone just yeah. reaches <laughs> like, i was like yeah. i know that but you know what i mean yeah. i'm like the way you're like yeah. caught him like yeah no the doctor dropped him and i caught him no um, <laughs> um but it was crazy because I'm I'm typically not for any of like when like I I can't watch Doctor Pimple Popper or dentist videos or anything like that. Yeah. But this is so much different. So any men out there listening to this, 100. percent This is just vastly different. If you feel like you're squeamish, I promise you, you will not be in this moment. It is just so much different. If you have the opportunity to help catch your son or daughter, do it because it, it's it's phenomenal. It is crazy i think the one thing that caught me off guard though oh geez his head was just purple like i mean it looked like the wall behind you oh, like a God. blue purple and i looked at the doctor the doctor didn't react i was like okay so this is, so this normal. is normal so we're good we're not sensing <laughs> yeah, exactly it was crazy but yeah i got to help pull him out and it was it was crazy it was crazy wow it's more of like a, a slow catch yeah. a slow yes no, out. yes mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah. okay yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> biggest thing that you and Ty are the most competitive about with each other as Olympic athletes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just random things. Like it, it, it can be anything. Um, we try not to be, but like we're doing a puzzle together right now. She's done most of it. <laughs> I've done the edges and like help fill in, but like we, we really know our strengths and weaknesses. And I think that the, the, the biggest thing that we're competitive about is we call it bringing stuff to the table. And it's mm -hmm. like, who brought what into the relationship? Oh. Like, as far as like, oh, you know, we didn't watch this show until I brought it up. So like, so like, <laughs> um, so we just finished watching a show called, or we're in the middle of watching a show called High Potential uh, with one of my favorite actresses. And Ty says, yes, I brought this to the table. So like, we, like, we're most competitive on who brings the most, like, enjoyment into the home that's if a that makes great sense. I feel like thing that's to be competitive where, like yeah, about seriously because you all win like <laughs> yeah. yeah so like if if for example if neither of us ever bowled and i was like hey let's start bowling and we love it it's like i brought that yeah to the table. <laughs> <laughs> i did this <laughs> yes <laughs> all right what is your favorite rodney story my favorite rodney story oh this is tough hmm coming up on a year that personality is really know, starting to come year. out <laughs> yeah oh man there's so many i'm just thinking of the just started walking that's fun oh. hmm? <laughs> you're getting help oh yeah, yeah i'm getting help she's giving it's yeah life she's line. bringing this to the table i'm just <laughs> yeah. letting you know <laughs> yeah, so, so so far recent recency bias is kicking in um but he he just started so so he just started walking two weeks ago um the week of he just started taking a couple of steps nothing crazy you know not a major life-changing event or anything like that <laughs> but um 
we always stay after church in the evening just to hang out. And we get done with church and we uh, just set him down. And the dude just starts running. Just like literally went from taking a couple of steps to just basically running. I had never expected anything like that, especially considering that he... I mean, his parents, I'm not that surprised. <laughs> yeah. Like, elite was, jeans it, over here. It, it, was, it was funny because, like I said, he had taken a couple of steps. And, like, the way that the church has the classes set up is for the infants. And I love this church because every child has their own, like, caretaker, which is great. Um, but they have a room for infants, a room for crawlers, and a room for walkers. And we're saying to ourselves, yeah, he took a couple of steps this week. I don't know if we should put him in the walkers class. But I was like, let's just take him to the walkers class because if anything, it'll probably do him some good to see other kids walking. So we take him to the walker uh, classroom and then he's running that like literally once the class is over, like what the heck? Like <laughs> Yeah, he probably got annoyed that all the kids yeah. were walking better than him and he was like, No, I'm doing this. <laughs> oh man. It's yeah, and then um I, I think that uh other other favorite memories are like uh when when we were in Paris mm -hmm. um and there's the uh the long jump going on and everybody's getting their claps going oh, and claps. then he's sitting on my lap and he starts clapping oh. with them. It was just so so cool to be there in those moments uh where um you know he's not aware of the situation but he's aware of himself and aware of, you know, just the few things and just to see how beautiful it is to to see his little mind working is so much fun. Yeah. And you're aware of it, even though if he's not, like yeah. you recognize in that moment, you're getting oh, to share yeah. something so special with your son. Yeah. And people said, oh, why are you bringing him? He's not going to remember. I don't care. You remember. Yeah, her, yeah, exactly. I'm doing this for exactly. me. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> I'm doing this for me. And, and, and so much of, you know, these first four years is just really doing it for me, doing it for my wife. And, and we can't, take any of these moments for granted because tomorrow just really never is promised. And, uh, hopefully I, we never have to experience that, but I never want to say to myself, it, it, it comes from, so we're doing rapid fire and I'm telling stories. Oh, so <laughs> such a dad, such a dad. Um, but, uh, he's, <laughs> he, um, like we we had we had a puppy and we lost our puppy oh, it oh second passed and I remember saying to myself wow he never even had peanut butter we didn't get to go to a dog park <laughs> and and I was like I refuse for anything like that to ever be the case so no my son is going to go to Paris gonna we're going to go to Disney things. we're going to do all of the things yeah. because tomorrow's not promised yeah. and we're, we're and and if nothing else we're going to have pictures videos and all these memories for yeah. ourselves amen okay so. Who is your favorite bad boy showman athlete in another sport? In another sport? Mm. It probably have to be like, um, what's it called? I like Tom Brady a lot. People don't mm. look at it that way, but like he's very, uh, I, but I guess that's probably just competitiveness, you know? I, I guess little. it can't. It can't, it. it can't just, yeah, it can't just be somebody who's ultra competitive, but I feel like that line gets so blurred mm -hmm. between that, um, outside of that, I'm just not too, I mean, you kind of already answered it, to be honest, like outside of Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. and Tom Brady, those guys are athletes or those yeah. guys are definitely yeah. athletes. I don't care what you say. Yeah. WWE yeah, is I mean, like yeah, insane. Yeah. Oh yeah. 100% jumping off those ladders yeah. and stuff like that. That's insane. <laughs> just... I'm over here as much as this housework stuff as I do. Those ladders are terrifying to me. Like I can't imagine just Clean doing your that body. on a regular basis. Like, yeah, just do a flip. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Next one. If there was a dream company that you could represent or work with, what would that company be? A dream company? Oh, probably Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so cool. You would okay. I can just pick. You can do your hair orange, yeah, and then wear yes, the yes, apron, 100%. and it's exactly. perfect. How do you not already have a relationship? Well, aren't they an Olympic sponsor? No, cool. They're a Paralympic so. Olympic sponsor, I think. Yeah, well, I think you're right. Well, yeah, Home, Home Depot, Depot will be sick. We'll be tagging them in this. <laughs> yeah, you think we're kidding? <laughs> Oh, I, I hope you're not kidding. No, I don't no it's happening. They're We're being collaborative to make things happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. All right. Well, perfect segue into the final question before we go into our last three questions. Um, what is your ideal hair color style that you've ever had or favorite? Ooh, honest, my, my favorite still is just the simple ones. Mm -hmm. um, so I did like this time of, time of year, I like the, the, the natural color. So like I did a ginger, like a really nice, just ginger. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of these pictures up here. <laughs> Um, and then, um, I think my next favorite is probably the magenta that I did at world championships last year. I love the magenta. Um, just was really, really nice. And I did turquoise and Tokyo. I like the solid colors a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, the, obviously the Picasso was crazy, yeah. but it's not something that I would just wear. Whereas like the magenta I felt like was subtle enough to still pop. Um, but I think the magenta for sure is something I could just see myself like rocking. Yeah, I love it. Well, it's so fun for us. We're always like, all right, what's he coming out with? Yeah. What do yeah. we got? Yeah. <laughs> like it's just that exactly. extra, again, that extra people, level of entertainment yeah. that you bring, which is yeah. so fun. And instead of people saying like, oh, are you going to be competing in L.A.? They say, oh, what are you going to do your what's hair like in L.A.? Like that's a, <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission yeah. accomplished. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's oh, amazing. Man, yeah. so, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but yeah, it's it's going to be a conversation starter is the goal. That's, hey, we have no <laughs> doubt. We have absolutely no doubt. All right, that is the end of our rapid fire. So we're going to go into, we ask every single one of our guests these same three questions. So the okay. first one is, what is a moment within the sport of track and field that brings you the most amount of joy? Um, for myself, I, I think this year was was very intense as a Paralympian because the the Paris Games just had such a good turnout. I think that for myself, it it was really just being able to see all my fellow team members live that dream of having a full stadium mm. watch them do what they do. Hey, bud. Um, yes. And <gasps> oh, we wanted this so this, badly. <laughs> yeah, he has this PVC pipe. He doesn't get to. He just gets random things. We so like, love that. We bought. Yeah, you know, we bought him a PVC pipe and some keys off of Amazon. Some just regular like John Deere keys. <laughs> he loves them. Um, He'll be sponsored by Home Depot. Too. Yeah, I mean it's perfect. <laughs> exactly. Who needs Fisher Price? You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it, for, for, yeah, it was really just being able to see so many people live that dream because mm -hmm. I know what it means to me to to be able to put on that show and to to okay, you can't touch mommy's puzzle, buddy. <laughs> um, to to be able to live that dream of wow, the stadium is full, everybody's here to watch me compete, yeah. and to hear the crowd roar, roar, and it, it's. It's something that's that we've never got to experience as Paralympic athletes, and and myself being like I said, a team captain, uh, just being able to be out there. And like I told them after they selected me, my goal was to be the biggest, biggest Team USA Paralympic fan there could be. So when I was out there watching long jump, I had my face painted. Like it was, it was fun. It was fun, and I and I think that it was so cool to be able to to watch them live that dream oh, that stadium is just i got to go and watch yeah. the limp it's just it's so open it's purple like it just was so oh, the purple was legendary nice, right? yes <laughs> yeah all right well same question which i feel like we're cheating off based off how rodney just came to your lap but your favorite <laughs> memory or moment outside your sport that's brought you the most amount of joy yeah, honestly, it's just it's just the regular stuff. Mm -hmm. I I think that it, it's he's allowed me to slow down in so many ways that um we were excited to come home to sleep in and go and get pancakes at mm -hmm. our favorite diner, and that's it. Like just the the small things on a day to day basis. I see, you know, I try to remind myself a lot that. At the end of the day, he's extremely happy with how that day went. He got mm -hmm. to hang out with his mom. He got to go with his dad to Home Depot. <laughs> he got to get a new PVC pipe. And, and he's sleeping happy and comfortably. And regardless of what my day is like, regardless if I feel like I got everything done or nothing done at all, I just feel so confident and content in knowing that, that he's happy. Yeah, so true. Puts everything into perspective.